Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira service management tutorial, we are going to discuss about more project settings. So we are in the RCV IT service management project and within the project, we are going to project settings. And then from there, we'll understand about the issue types, right? So what exactly is issue type and how you are going to use issue type in Jira service management projects. So we've understood about details, people, features, summary, etc. Let's go to the issue types. So if I go to issue type, let's see what exactly is an issue type okay so when we say issue type right so issue type is nothing but issue type is so issue type in jira is basically you can say a categorization of the issues you can create a particular issue type for example here if you see we have issue type ask a question we have issue type as email request we have issue type as these are the new ones that i created okay service request rcv rcv1 and then you have issue type submit a request and task etc right so basically you can create new issue type as well but there are out of the box issue types available in any of the jira product right whether it's jira software now we are learning jira service management and in jira service management management ask a question email request submit an incident or response request or incident task subtask these are by default available so why do we need it we need it basically to categorize our request properly if you put all your queries all the incidents all the requests right all the service requests all questions in one bucket that's not going to be very effective so when you create issue type customer from the customer portal can basically choose what exactly they are looking for and based on that if they are looking for service request they can choose that issue type and then submit the request accordingly so that's what basic issue type is all about now in order to see more detail what exactly is all supported here right so if we say issue type if you go to the actions how we can basically go ahead and create a new issue type right so if you go to actions here now you need to be a project administrator to get all these settings so now here if i go ahead and click issue type edit issue type so then you will see that we can add issue type here okay and then here if you see at the top this is basically this is the issue type scheme right so jira service management issue type scheme that is being utilized here right that's the scheme name etc and now you will see what all issues are available in the current scheme right so these are the new ones that i have added i can basically remove them so they won't be available in this scheme okay but if i want to create a say for example a new issue type okay or these are the existing ones that are available by default in jira okay and these are the ones from the from some of the plugin right but the below ones for example this change request uh, epic right so all of these basically employee onboarding offboarding these are the ones from the service management so to add issue type simply click on add issue type and let's create a issue type so i'll say service request rcv for example i'll say rcv on okay so if there is someone who is looking for service request uh, and submitting from rcv online we can make basically use utilize that issue type okay this is just for a demo purpose right when you are actually defining issue type you will you will be having a lot of discussion and thought process around what name should go and the relevance accordingly right so just for example this is an issue type that we want to add and we want to add a standard issue type and the other one is subtask issue type so when we say standard issue type it, it's a standard issue type that is supported in jira for example you know story bug etc these are standard issue type and subtask issue type is the subtask of any of the standard issue type so we'll keep it standard issue type right and then click on add so now you will see that the one that we added is added here service request rcv online okay it's already added now you have to scroll down below and click on save in order to save this issue type that you have created into the current scheme right this issue type scheme so that it's available there okay let me maximize it or scroll down here you will see that service request online is basically available here right and it has a associated workflow with it it has associated field configuration and the screen okay now you can go ahead and change these association as well if you want say for example for this one for this particular issue type i want to use a different workflow okay then i can go ahead and edit and associate a different workflow for only this issue type in this particular scheme that is all possible but i won't go into that 
detail in this particular video because that is more of a Jira administrator task. Okay, I'll cover a separate series on that. So now we have created an issue type. Now this issue type, say for example, I want to use it or I want to make sure that customers are able to see this request uh, service request issue issue type RCV online and they are submitting the request using the correct issue type. So what we'll do now, let's go below here. Oh, sorry, portal settings. We'll go to portal groups and let's minimize this. Okay. So now we have certain groups here. Okay. Now say for example, for RCV online, we want to have a complete different group. So we have to show that particular new request, new issue type that we have added and add it in a, you know, a service request, right? So what we'll do from here, we'll simply create a group. Okay. So to keep it separate, so I'll say RCV or service request and then I'll say RCV online service request. Okay. So let's save this group and within this group, what we have to do is we have to request, we have to add a request form. So I'll click on add a request form and then let's say, okay, not from here. Let me delete it. All right. Let me delete it then cancel it. So we have to basically first thing we have created issue type, then we have to create a request type, right? Because here, if you see in the create group, we have to add the request form and request form takes what it takes the request, right? So first we have created a issue type, then we have to create a request type. Okay, go to the request type and let's assign a request type, right? So we'll say, you know, or, or create a uh, request type. So let me create a request type and I'll say service request RCV online. Okay. And then I will minimize it. Okay. So now I will make sure that I use in this particular request type, I use service request online issue type, right? So I have to choose that. Okay. So that is available. And if say, for example, I want to change the icon for this issue type, I'll simply use this one. Okay. That I have uploaded, save it. And then in the description, I can put the description. I think it didn't say. So let me put it back, change icon and add service request online there. Okay. Click next and then we'll select a portal group, right? So this is basically, so either I can go to the portal and then do it, but from here itself, I can go ahead and create a new group. Okay. So I'll simply say service request RCV online. Okay. Or, or change it a little bit. I'll say RCV online service request and create this group and then create this particular service request that I have created and associated a new issue type into this service request, right? So now this request form has been created. Now what next? The next thing is I can customize the fields that are available in this particular request, right? So I have see, I see there are instructions, there's summary. I can add more details here from the right side, whatever fields I see, right? For example, I want to add the description. Okay. I can drag and drop description there. I want to have a option to attach the files. I have dragged and drop attachment there. Okay. And then let's say I want description. Okay. Description is there. Summary is there. Let's see what else can we add. I want urgency as well. Okay. Say for example, these fields I want. So I'll drag and drop these fields into service request online request form. Okay. And then save the changes. Okay. If you want to preview, you can click on preview first. Okay. So it'll simply say preview and then it will show you the preview of this particular form. So you'll see service request RCV online. Okay. And then we have summary, we have description, we have attachment option, we have urgency as well. So this is how customer is going to see the service request RCV online form. Okay. Now, once you are happy that yes, you are happy with this particular configuration. Okay. And then the next thing I want to cover as well, if say, for example, workflow. So if I go to the workflow, view workflow, which workflow this particular request type will be using, you will be able to see it in here. Okay. So this particular issue type is using this particular workflow. Okay. So that it, that detail will be available here as well. If I go to the project settings, okay. And then let's go to the request type, sorry, the portal settings and portal groups. You'll see this is the one that we added, right? And then this is the request that we have added in this particular group here. 
right now if i want to see the details of what all what workflow is being used what scheme is being utilized we'll again go to the issue type and we'll see the issue type that we have recently created so here you will see this is the one that we created right service request rcv online which is having this particular workflow default esm workflow for jira service management right and then the field configuration whichever it is using and then which screen scheme it is using okay your jira administrator can change any of this say for example for this particular issue type you want to display a totally custom field a new field that is not available by default within jira your jira administrator will be able to create that custom field and then associate that with this particular issue type that we have created and will associate a scheme so the, it's a it's a total hierarchy and the jira project jira administrators are able to do it absolutely easily right so this is where you will see the detail and the actual updation or creation of this issue type and then from the issue type we have created the request type and then that request type will hold the reference of the issue type that we created okay so if you go to the issue type we have created issue type issue type reference to the request type and request type then map to the service portal for end user right for the customer Customer, okay so that's what the hierarchy will look like so the service request rcv online is then using this issue type the one that we recently created and that is mapped to the portal group so this is basic you know hierarchy if you go to the project section that's how things are aligned so first issue type then you create the request type then associate the issue newly issued a newly created issue type to the newly created request type and then map that request type to the portal group to make it visible on the portal right so if we now go to the portal here just the root portal here you will see the group will be available on the portal okay so you'll see rcv online service request group is available if i expand this you will see service request rcv online is available i can click on that and it will show me the custom fields that i have chosen for this particular request type right which is using the issue type that we created right service request issue type that we created so it has summary it has basically description attachment and urgency as well okay so this is how you are going to leverage the issue types and request types in jira service management so that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll talk a little bit more about request types in little bit more detail so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching